What is up guys and welcome to my top four dinosaur deck profile. Dinosaurs are still one of the coolest decks you can still kind of play. I mean, of course we only have Miscat 1, but you know, dinosaurs are still cool. Uh, it's uh, This build is a going second build with board breaking mentality. So you chew through a board with an OTK follow up um, or follow on, or OTK up on the next turn. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the deck profile. So starting off, of course, we have of course three Obi Raptor. This card just does the entire thing this card's just a one card combo in itself uh helps you um search out uh i so see your miss to set up in the graveyard to do the misplay and all that it's just insane like like it's just standard soul eating old rappers are standard of course we're running of course the one miscellaneous sources at one of course for obvious reasons this card's insanely good banished from the graveyard basically gives you immunity from everything honestly if this card say, went back to three this deck would be in insane probably so yeah definitely the one miss it's definitely just a broken ass card Next for our babies, we of course have Baby Ceratosaurus. It's no once per turn. You can cycle the hell out of this card. You need this at least three because we do run the scrap combo as well because you, you'll burn through at least two during the scrap combo. This Baby Ceratosaurus is just insane. And to round out our babies, basically, we have, of course, the two Armadona Archer Sword. Card is nuts. It's basically been one of the best supports for dinosaurs ever since it came out. Then, of course, we have Petite Pteranodon. It searches out our, I say, UTC. Searches out our Panker Tops to get the Panker Tops out. Yeah. Speaking of the UCT and Panker Tops, two UCT, one Panker Tops. Panker Tops is just insanely hard. If you open it, you special summon it. It's free pops. Also, free 2600 meter. UTC destroys boards. Uh, this with Dark Ruler is kind of just insane. Obviously, you don't do the damage, but this and Dark Ruler is just an instant clear of the board, and you can set up for a follow up OTK in the next turn. So, it's insane. UTC is just gross, this format. Our last few dinos, of course, we have, of course, uh, Giant Rex, free special summon, sets, sets up your rank 4 plays, uh, our built-in Kaiju of the deck, because Kaiju he thinks is fun, and I still run one of the True King Lithosagum, you can trigger off your babies in hand instantly, like you open this with a bunch of your babies, or your Armadon Archer Sword, or anything, you get basically just go pop off full combo with that, so love this card, even if also with 2500 meter, push for game. The scrap package, of course, we have scrap ra three scrap raptor and one scrap chimera. Uh, you, I really don't want to really draw this. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you draw the scrap chimera, but it's, I mean, it's not the best. But scrap raptor, scrap chimera, the scrap wave wavering combo, this card's insane. Opens up your rank four plays. Also opens up uh, synchro eight plays as well, as you'll see in the extra deck. Yeah, but package is nuts. For our hand traps, we have three nib. Nib just kind of breaks spores. Like I said, we want it, we're going second, so having this going second, it's just insane. Basically, just says, oh, that board you built is good, and then you can follow up OTK them on the next turn. So, yeah, three nib is insane. Plus, you don't see nib that often, so a lot of people are not expecting it. So, yes. <laughs> For our last three hand traps, uh, I just went with the most generic is, of course, three Ash. Depending on your matchups, you side this out, depending if Ash is more useful or something else is in your deck, uh, side deck that's more useful. But yeah, I just went with the standard issue, like just Ash in the main. It's just good, hits everything. One Scythe, we can make it, we can run it, we can pop it, trigger its effect. If we're if we're inherently, like I said, we are going inherently second, but if we're made to go first, this is just a good way to lock out your opponent while going uh, first. So, so when they go second, you just lock them out, so they just have to basically do something that they don't want unless they don't have, unless they have an out for Scythe, but no one really does. So yeah, Scythe is broken. Onto the spells, three fossil dig, standard stuff, searches everything. I mean, it's just another starter for the deck. It's nuts. Two pill. I mean, you don't want to draw it, but it's searchable off in the Armador Archer Sword. And of course, it brings it, it allows you to get into your UCT to push for game. Uh, only two Lost World, and we're not running Terraforming as well. Uh, Lost World is not as good as in this format as it's been in other formats because if you give your opponent a token, they usually can. That's just giving your opponent resources that a lot of decks just use nowadays. It's still good to have that token out and pop it, trigger effects. But honestly, Lost World is still a great card, but I don't think it's really good in this format. But it's still good enough to run at two to get the combo lines going. So it's still. Honestly, running that two. If you like it at three, bump it up three. Run the terraforming with it. But two, I felt I seen it enough. I really never missed it when I didn't see it. So it's honestly, it's all right it's in this format. 
For our draw spells, of course, we have three extravagants. It's nuts. Our extra deck is not too important, really, uh, besides a few couple combo pieces. So if you do have prosperity, prosperity is technically, I would say, a better option. But you do want to have that battle phase damage, so that's why I rolled pro uh, uh, pro uh, extravagants instead. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's just a plus two in a sense. Plus, this deck's already consistent enough, so yeah. Our last three main deck cards, of course, is three Dark Ruler No More. It's yeah, it's a little bit weird because we want to go OTK, uh, so go second OTK, but blowing up their entire board with a Dark Ruler No More and UCT is still just as good because usually they have no follow up because at that point they expended all their resources. So you can just OTK on the next turn. Plus, it's just a good way to just blanket an opponent's entire board. So yeah. Jumping on into the side deck, of course, we have three Droll and Lockbird. Droll and Lockbird is just insane. Shuts down all, all basically instantly searching. Like, it shuts down so many decks. Like, this d card is definitely I instantly good. Like, this card is insane. Three Regeki, because, you know, we're going second. We want ways to clear out boards as much as possible. So, if we know for a fact we are going second, we can definitely side these in over something else. Uh, but yeah, three Regeki. Seen it. I, like, I love Regeki in this format. It's no one expects Regeki. <laughs> Three Twin Twisters in the side. Uh, there's still some back row running around. Skill drains at three, so that comes up every once in a while. But honestly, it just pecks you bats rows. It's annoying. Uh, just hits things that you don't want to deal with. Also, Mystic Mind's been running around a little bit lately, too. So, yeah. Uh, Twin Twister, definitely love it. Some power one-offs. Of course, we have the one Lightning Storm, because it's just another, basically, Regeki or Harpy's Feather Duster or uh, back row removal. Then, of course, set of Harpy's Feather Duster. And, of course, the Broken Call by the Grey. We beside it. Uh, hand Traps. No one really runs Hand Traps, so it's just in here in case we have a Graveyard-centric deck. We can throw it in, disrupt them. Or in case they have Hand Traps, we can just throw this in to protect our plays. But mostly, most people are not maining uh, Hand Traps. They're just basically full gas. So, yeah, three power one-offs. Love them. Then, of course, we have 3D Barrier. Shuts down literally almost every deck in the format uh, that's relevant and that has the toughest matchups for Dino. Uh, shuts down, of course, the Branded, the Synchro Plays, and it just shuts down a lot of things, honestly. Like, it's nuts. Uh, also shuts down, of course, uh, your Drytrons that are coming back in. So, yeah, pretty cool. It's a standard at this point. Uh, so, yeah, D Barrier. Sorry, now we're going to our extra deck. Uh, starting with our three synchros, of course, we have the TG Wonder Magician, the special summon off and Hulky Firebrax, a pop, of course, the scythe. Uh, our two level eights, of course, if you do have a second Borolo Savage, you can run that over the Draco Berserker. I just ran it because I didn't I couldn't I couldn't find a second Borolo Savage. Uh, probably preferable because we do run extravagant, so you always have access to Borolo Savage in case you banish one of them off. But honestly, Borolo Savage is just set on the board going first when you get made to go first. And Draco Berserker, honestly, it's really good. Like it's kind of low-key good. Uh, so, yeah. For some of our links, we, of course, run the one anima because we have the babies. We can make it. It sucks up something up. Uh, so, yeah. Gets rid of that. Scrap wave him, of course, for the scrap combo. And, of course, Dagda for the fun, good, fair and balanced scythe combo. So, yeah. Going on to more of our links. Uh, the rest of our links, we, of course, the one healthy Fibrex for, of course, you know, the TG Wonder Magician to pop the scythe. Uh, access code and Boral Load. Uh, I say Boral Soul Dragon to push for more OTKs uh, just to close out games as quickly as possible. Uh, but that is it for the links. We're going to move on to the Exceeds. For two of our Exceeds, of course, we run Zeus because we can, I mean, we have Exceeds, but might as well we can make Zeus. This was kind of the open spot I had still in the extra deck, so I just threw Zeus in because I thought it was cool. It's still a broken card. I like it. And of course, we have Degaris. Degaris is insane. It's just insane. <laughs> you draw two, discard two, and also you can switch some of the monsters from the graveyard. And of course, uh, you can double attack one of your monsters to push for more gain during a battle phase. Of course, they have the corresponding disadvantages, but Degaris is definitely an insane card. Next, for our last two Exceeds, of course, we have the th uh, two Lagia and the two Dolka. Lagia and Dolka, honestly, are insane. Dolka's insane because it's just on monster effects, just of stuff. Also, Evil Show Lagia, honestly, is pretty good this format, too. Uh, stopping the summoning of monsters and also spelling traps. Nuts. So, yeah. But this has been the extra deck. And this has been my Dinosaur Deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Honestly, I love love this deck still uh miss f3 would definitely make this deck a lot more uh scarier than it already is but honestly it's an otk machine that wants to hit and then of course we have the built-in going first uh, option so well in case we're made to go first but yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe and until my next video stay safe and stay healthy i'll see you guys in the next one peace